Hi and welcome to the second edition of uh, SAS Access to Database. In my previous tutorial we talked about how does SAS access a database from a libname standpoint and we also created a table and inserted a couple of records. In this tutorial we're going to talk about a pass-through facility. Um, um, what is the syntax of pass-through facility and um, we're going to look at the dual concept, how, how we can use it for different purposes. And we're also going to create a table and uh, try inserting a couple of rows into a database. Alright, so as you can see on the screen, I have quickly written up the pro proxy SQL syntax. Uh, again, I'm making sure the user ID and the password all are used, uh, referenced using macro variables um, so that they get resolved. Um, with, and we're not hard coding any user or password. Uh, as you can see, connect to Oracle and disconnect from Oracle. You know, make sure this is a syntax that you have to maintain if you're logging for Oracle. And um, if you're logging to other databases, make sure you, you change Oracle to that particular database or DB2 or Teradata. Okay, even select star from connection to Oracle is again a syntax that you have to that you have to uh, make sure you you put in there, or else there's going to be a syntax error. Uh, the meat of your um, select query is going to go between this and this, uh, between select star and disconnect. Okay, between these two brackets. So, uh, as you can see right now, you know I'm just doing a select star from dual. But let's look at what exactly is a dual um, table from a Oracle standpoint. Okay. So as you can see. Yeah, if I run this query, select star from dual, it just says that it's a table which is dummy and there's an X variable in that. Okay, so uh, the, by the face of it, it might not be that charming or enchanting, but uh, trust me, you will use dual uh, quite a lot uh, from a Oracle standpoint, and in it, in it is pretty useful in SAS too. But you know, just to showcase. Uh, the the users um, that's the whole point of me sh sh showing you the dual concept. So I'm going to click run this query. All right, there you see. You know you're seeing something called dummy, and the X it just comes up as it is, right? So now what you're going to do is um, I'm just going to take our select star from here, and I'm just going to put this state, right? And before I run here, I'm just going to go here and do the same thing. Select this state directly running that from uh, database so it says 15th number 15 right so when I run this let's see what it, what I get f3 it says 15 number 2015 and um, 17.05.33 well it just means that you know this just shows in DHMS format okay and they are minute and second this is how the dates are actually stored in a database. So when you actually bring this date into your uh, from Oracle to SAS, you're always gonna get this, right? So you have to make sure you use a date format, right? You have to use something called date part to only get the date. Okay. Now that is the important concept that you know. Uh, just I want you to uh, keep in mind. Okay, and. The one of the other uses of dual, though I'm not going to show it here, I'm just going to explain it out to you, is that you know you can use it uh, for figuring out what are, what are the various tables that you have. You can use to see um, uh, what are the privileges, the users. You can also see who's who's logged on uh, to that Oracle database. You can see your ID. There are quite a few users. You know, there are something called DBA, uh, DBA tables. You can uh, query from them. You can also understand what is the disk space that is available. If I do get a chance, I'm going to show that to you in a later part of my tutorials. But um, dual is a pretty neat concept. You don't really have to use dual from a proxy SQL standpoint. But you know, if you mm, because you live in a world where you just can't use SAS and get away with it, right? You you have to use Oracle. You have to use SAS. You have to use Unix. So all these three things are you know are fundamental from a SAS programmer standpoint. If you're working for huge financial companies, okay. All right. Um, that being said, right, uh, I was doing a couple of testing from Oracle standpoint, and I want to and like insert a couple of a couple of uh, rows into uh, one of the tables that we really cre earlier created, the mortgage table. So I'm going to write a. I want to understand how many tables, how many rows that I actually updated. I'm just going to say select counter star from mortgage. Okay. Uh, it tells me that I have 1,018 rows that I've inserted. All right, so what I'm going to do for as part of this uh, next uh, couple of minutes is I'm going to write, uh, create a cube table. 
and I'm going to let's say I'm going to insert uh, 10,000 rows in it okay so what I'm going to do is um, use leverage um, the libname statement that we've written okay um, this is actually a, a little a little more of extension of the first tutorial that I've done but then this I want to show that uh, how, how can uh, insert you know up to 10,000 rows right I can actually go ahead and insert 1 million rows but then the problem with that is it's going to take me at least half an hour or maybe less than that I have to go back and check my CPU configuration to understand that but hey um, so uh, let's do this okay let's uh, create a table I'm going to say it's called as data mortgage um, new okay uh, I'm going to create say do loan number is equal to let's say I'm going to say 10,000 to 20,000 20, right so a simple output will should give me all the loan numbers since I'm using a do do loop I'm just gonna finish off with end and run well if I do run this I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get um, all my 10,000 10, uh, rows but more importantly I want to not only use the loan number but I want also want to leverage the fields that I've already created here right so I'm gonna take this again and let's create a very healthy looking table right so I'm gonna paste them here oops okay uh, let's say uh, the due date is equal to 1st of Jan uh, 2016 all right okay now let's say investor loan number is equal to you know just for our, our understanding purpose you know something like this and the bankruptcy flag we're gonna keep everything as n well, it just means none of our customers are bankrupt. That's good. Good for economy, right? <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to use LTV. LTV, I'm just going to say is 0 0.90 or obsessed. Alright, I'm just going to say 0.85. Alright, so I have everything that I need. I'm just going to remove this off. You know, I don't really have use it and require now. So I'm going to run this particular piece of the code, F3. So it tells me that mortgage in this code new has 10,000 observations. That's good. So you can always get the information from here, right? Go to your work library. You, you're going to find that. Okay, now that we have created that, it has 10,000 rows. And I, I already showed you from Oracle standpoint that I have 1,000 rows already inserted here. So what I'm going to do is uh, quickly write a proxy equal. And well, I want to insert all those 10,000 rows into a database right into the Oracle database so uh, it's again all I have to do is use the existing just leverage the existing um, SQL here I'm just gonna say insert into Oracle db dot mod cage I'm gonna say select star right select star from the table that I created called mod gauge new okay all right so that's it as simple as that right I'm just gonna do it press F3 it's executing that's good news let's go to log boom there you go yes 10,001 rows were inserted into Oracle database mod keys table well let's do one thing let's go take this piece of code paste here and let's say you know what I want to see what is the count how many how many tables I have inserted right from mod gauge. Well, it's a good practice to give some information. Let's say self count of star as loan count, right? Okay, let's run this query. And let's see what how many rows we actually get. Awesome, we get 11,019 rows, which means that we were able to insert. And bear in mind, we have, uh, we, if you're inserting rows from a Oracle standpoint, you normally use the commit, right? But from SAS, you don't have to do that. It it is taken care of internally, <laughs> so that's a pretty neat, neat concept that we have in SAS. You don't really have to, you know, uh, mention explicitly commit. So that is a pretty uh, neat concept that we have, right?
All right, so now that I've, we have taken care of that, um, I do have enough time to cover one more important topic. Say that you know, let's say that you want to uh, select uh, select this loan volume, loan count, and you want to pass it into a into a field. Right, that that is where the concept of uh, now that's how you, you can also create a macro variable. We're going to take a uh, take a look at that right now. Right. So all you have to do is write proc SQL. I'm just going to say no print because I don't want it to be showing up in my output right now. So I'm so, uh, so I'm going to say select count of star as loan count into now this is what's the most important into let's say you want to uh, get all this um, the loan count into a variable right let's say that variable is called as um, uh, volume okay loan volume okay from um, so we're going to use our oracle dot db dot mortgage okay there you go and let's just say quit. Okay, I'm going to use our macro options here. We have Symbolgen, M error, M logic, and M print. Okay, I just want you guys to see how how this this works. Okay, um, I'm going to quickly run this query. F3. All right, it tells you the procedure SQL was used. Right. Uh, it's got compiled now what we're gonna do is um, we'll use a percentage put statement um, percentage put is just like a printf or uh, or print in printf in SA or print in uh, Python or it's an echo command in um, Unix shell scripting so just like that you have a percentage we also have can you know put it onto your log it's something called percentage put so I'm gonna say um loan underscore volume is you know you're calling the macro variable right so you're going to you're going to use this information here okay and the, the moment i'm going to run this query right all these things are going to come into picture so let's run this right boom up here f3 it tells me the loan volume is 11,019. so remember see this was the same thing that we got here right 11,019 so what we just saw was that um, we can use this macro variables to, to you know um, get answers from a database and always use it to pass it to different variables right similar to pointers since see uh, it's called macro variables in, in, in SAS okay um, so I'm gonna wrap up this call um, this whole um, video for today uh, please feel to comment and subscribe thank you